In this week's Shabbat, we are going to make cement candle holders. And today I have two special helpers, Rachel and Atara, who are here, and they're gonna help us make our special candlesticks. So the first thing we're gonna do in our first video is we're gonna carefully take everything out of our containers. Okay, so carefully take everything out of your containers and then put your gloves on. Okay, everyone find your gloves. Nope, here you go. Just put that on and then as soon, oh, good job. And as soon as the gloves are on, we're gonna start taking everything out of our crate. So just lay everything out on the table so you see what you have. If you do not have the Shabaks and you're doing this on your own, the ratios are five parts cement to two parts water. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the small cup and we're gonna fill it up with water. And we have to do this very quickly because once the cement and the water mix, it's kind of like matzah, if it begins to harden, it's gonna be too late. So just pour one cup of water into the bucket and then refill that cup and just lay it on the counter next to you because we don't need it quite yet. Now let's take our cement out of the bag and pour it right into the bucket. Pour the whole bag into the bucket and begin mixing. You can either use the knife or that wooden chopstick, whichever you prefer. You have both of them in there. Just mix it, mix it really fast. Don't stop mixing. And while you're mixing it, in just a minute, we're gonna add the second cup of water. So whenever you see it's getting a little too tough, just add that second cup of water. Add it in there, try to keep on mixing while you're doing it. And you want it to be a smooth consistency, so if it's crumbly or not smooth, just keep on adding a little bit of water at a time. Whenever it's a smooth consistency, you're ready to pour it into your plastic cups. So you should have two plastic cups set out in front of you. If you don't already, that looks good. So now we're just about ready to start pouring it into the cups. You're gonna pour it into the two plastic cups. You wanna fill it maybe halfway each. You wanna basically divide all the stuff in your bucket into the cups. So just pour half into one cup. Okay, now let's switch to the second cup. I think that's about good. Good job. Once that's poured in, we're gonna take the candle and we're gonna stick it in the middle of your cup. Now you don't have to, but I find if you spray it with cooking spray, it makes it easier for the next part to come out. So right in the middle, you're gonna basically push it into the mixture. And you want it to be centered right in the middle of the cup. Perfect. And now this part's done. Now we wait five minutes on the clock. Okay, so now we're back and now it's time to take the candles out of the cup. So we're gonna take the candles out of the cup. And once you take them out, you'll notice that there's a hole where the candle was. Now just take your finger and go around the side of the hole. So take the, your finger and go around, you're just gonna make the hole a little bit bigger. Take both of them out. If you'd like, you can take the white part out to begin with and that might make it easier for you to pull them out afterwards, especially if you're not using the cooking spray. And don't throw the candles away because we're gonna use those candles again once they dry to light our candles for Shabbat. Welcome back. At this point, your candles should be dry. Hopefully you waited at least overnight. And now comes the fun part. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our plastic cup and we're gonna just crack it a little bit like this. Maybe get a grown up to help you if you need to, just to get it started. Just crack it a little bit. And then once it's cracked, you're going to peel it down like that. And once you do, you'll be able to take your candlestick right out. Just like that, you see that? Once we take it out, we're now gonna sand it. So take your little sand, block. That's it right there. And you're just going to sand the top just to make it a little smoother. You can sand the top and the bottom if the bottom's not smooth. My bottom is smooth. My bottom is smooth. The bottom of my candle is smooth so I don't need to but if you'd like to you can 
Just keep on sanding those down. Daddy, is this good? Excellent, yes. Okay. Is this good? Perfect. Now, once you are good with the way it looks, now it's time to start painting them. So you can take the metallic markers that came with your crate and you can begin painting it. If you notice, all along the side, there are lines. And you can take those lines and use them to create some sort of pattern. So you can alternate lines, or you can do sections where maybe the large part in between the two lines is one color with like a line in the middle. Or you can just really leave them the way they are. It's totally up to you. You can decorate them however you'd like with those markers. Keep on coloring. Great job. Look at, look at my colors. Oh, I love that. Look at my colors. So pretty. Kali, look at my okay, colors. keep on coloring, keep on coloring. So there you have it. Candlesticks special for Shabbat, and I hope that you use these not only this Friday night, but every Friday night, especially over the next couple of weeks as we continue with our Shabbat. Make sure that when Shabbat is over, you put the candlesticks back in the box so that you can use them for next week. Thanks for helping us out today, guys. Can you say goodbye to everybody? Bye! I hope you'll check out the next video in this series as we make a special card with a blessing to light candles. And don't forget to share the craft that you made with us with the hashtag Shabbat. Can't wait to see all of your crafts very soon. So let me be the first to wish you a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. We'll see you back here. Bye. This has been a JIY project of joy. Click here to watch the next video in the series as we make a candle lighting blessing card.